Can I get you another drink, sir? I'd love one. But, unfortunately, these awards, well, they don't accept themselves, now do they? <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> what a fucking prick. No, 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 I've told you a thousand times. No, the time is not right yet. Listen, I do not want that book published, you hear me? The book will be published when and if I say, Herschel. Why? Because I am the goddamn author. Thank you, I need parking, God bless. What? God bless, asshole. We can have this discussion another time, all right? I, Herschel, I need to call you back, God's sakes. No, 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 no. Look, I have parking money. Look, all these cars, you know why they're here? They're here because of me, all right? I'm the reason for this season. Do you know who I am? Yeah, I'm a big fan. Oh, you're gonna be a big fan. When I talk to your boss and your boss's boss, I happen to have the line for the mayor. You, young lady, have not heard the last of Tilden Kavatha. <laughs> Good morning. Morning, of course, we know why we are all gathered here today. We're here to discuss the final will and testimonial of uh, my dear friend, your father, Mr. Tilden Kvifi. 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 Yeah. So we have a couple of uh, items on the docket. Uh, first being, of course, uh, the dispersal of the ashes amongst you, the joint heirs, as well as this unpublished and untitled manuscript your father left. You know what? Why don't we put daddy into one of those rockets? You know, the ones that shoot the ashes up into space, and then he'll just go further and further into the cold, empty vacuum. You know, just like daddy. Is that even legal? Wouldn't we need some sort of special permission for something like that? Oh, I'm not sure. Can I call a friend? There's a recess for a moment here, but adjourned. I've got it. Why don't we load the old man in a huge firework, light him up over the river, because that's where he'd like to spend most of his time avoiding all of us. Fucking boat. Daddy wasn't avoiding us. He was avoiding mom. Remember all those fights she used to start? No, he was avoiding me. Or at least spending time with me. And we had time to do the things I like to do. Because all you want to do is read comic books and go to Comic-Con. Matt. He is your little brother. Stop making fun of him. You're exactly right. He's still a little boy. Drawing crayon pictures. Illustrations. They are ink illustrations. Oh. You know what? You never change. You are always on the attack, always looking to criticize. Does that remind you of anybody? She's right. You are just like Dad. You are exactly like Dad. You know what? Screw you. Screw you. And double screw you. You've always thought that you were dad's favorite. But you know what? Just because you were a writer, he couldn't stand your psycho babble. I believe he used the word overwrought. You bastard. You weren't around until you were 14. We were around when we were kids. You know what? You don't even know him like us. I knew him better than all you self entitled brats do. You know what? I know exactly what to do. Great news, gang. We can use pyrotech. <laughs> it's all over me. I'll get the dice. Oh. Okay, Kafifis. Uh, now that we've had a chance to discuss our feelings, perhaps we could bring up the matter of the manuscript. Well, since everyone's jumping at it, um, give it to me. Untitled. Original, Dad. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that has to do with it being unfinished. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'll just pop out, <laughs> let you guys peruse. <laughs> Put an addendum on that. 
do we really have to read this thing? I don't think I can handle another rendition of Rogue Agent John Hykick. Hykman. Whatever. So he didn't want this published? I mean, he was all about his series. Why not this one? It's not a Hykman novel. Well, what is it? Uh, what? You don't get to decide that anymore. Whoa. Can we just do what we came here to do, please? Fine. To the Fantastic Four. My first child was born in the dark. She was alone. That loneliness hung on her as she grew, following like a close shadow. I never saw her shake it. I never helped her shake it. Instead, she became adept at seeing shadows in other people. Despite my indifference in creating her, she changed my absence into a gift. I think that hurts most of all. It's about us. All of us. Dad would never. He did. Even me? There's a section for each of us. Keep reading. I didn't know what to do with him. Here was this kid that looked just like me when I was his age. Same goofy expression. Same crook to his nose. When he was eight, I took him to this convention. First and last time. Filled with geeks just like him. People wearing tails. Squeezing into spandex bodysuits. Kyle was Batman. Plastic pecs and all. He was the worst Batman. Because it was just a smile. Pure joy under the mask. Matt was a public relations stunt. There's no short way around it. 14-year-old kid in foster care. It was great press when we adopted him. Kid knew it too, but he never complained. Didn't have a drop of my blood, but Matt... Matt had more of me, the good parts at least, than any of them. I can pinpoint the moment Lily started to hate me. It was a Tuesday. She brought me a bug, nasty thing. Said she'd rescued it. One of its legs was broken. Put it on my desk and I smacked it with a hikeman do or die. After that, she had a perpetual scowl whenever she looked at me. And a gorgeous smile for the rest of the world. John Heitman, bug assassin. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have known he remembered all that? I didn't remember all that. 